guys what's good hope you guys are doing well on today's video i want us to talk about the mistakes that we make as beginner forex traders which hit us as from growing from beginner phase to advanced seasoning forex traders as a beginner myself i've made some of these mistakes biased by the grace of god i've matured to most of these mistakes but when i read my comment sections i can see that a lot of you guys are still making these mistakes and i will not just sit here and keep quiet while my people are not winning so i decided to make this video hoping that it will help someone to get somewhere in their forex trading journey and number one people are putting themselves in unnecessary risk in the market people are taking trades that they are not even supposed to be taking because they are simply just bad trades you can spot these trades by seeing when that's trade tp or when there's trade sls because you find that when you lose money in the market actually if the market goes against you you lose way more than you could have won if this trade went your way and if the trade actually goes your way your wins are doing little to nothing into your account you can barely see the difference this actually happens because people are not using the right risk to reward ratio and i have seen that most of you guys don't know what a risk to reward ratio is so if you don't know what a risk to reward ratio is obviously you will not consider even using something that you don't know it's okay to not know because if you don't know and you are honest don't lie to yourself if you don't know and you are honest with yourself that's okay i don't know if information like this comes your way you are able to grasp this information with open heart and work towards knowing what this thing is it's unlike someone who's pretending as if they know everything nobody knows everything i myself don't know everything as i'm sitting here in front of this camera and it's okay because i'm still learning and i'm open to learning it's okay so if someone comes with a new information don't attack this person because you don't know what they are talking about simply just take this word and do your research it's not all trades that you must take in this market simply compare your trades calculate if i win this trade how much am i going to win and if i lose this trade how much am i going to lose if you see a trade in the market and if you take it you stand a chance of winning ten dollars but if this trade goes against you you stand a chance of losing ten dollars if you compare that risk to reward that's a very bad trade so you shouldn't take this trade but if you see a trade in the market and you calculate your risk to reward you find out that if i win this trade i stand a chance to win 15 or 30 dollars but if i lose this trade i stand a chance of losing five dollars i mean what's a five dollar when we are winning 30 dollars i can risk my five dollars to win 30 dollars so that's a trade that you want to take don't be overwhelmed about these 30 dollars five dollars if you are losing no if you are winning five dollars in your trades it's still fine if you are winning ten dollars in your trades it's still okay we all started somewhere i started from where if i lose if i win my trades i was winning three dollars per trade and if i lose my trade i was losing one dollar or one comma five dollars per trade and i was fine with that because i understand that we all have to start somewhere guys as beginners we just need to be honest with ourselves and have patience honesty and patience will get us very far in this journey don't listen to those people who come to people's comment section everywhere and comment nonsense because those people are losing for starters and if they continue with their mentality they will not win because they are attacking everyone who's winning but they themselves are not winning so don't be consumed 
by people like that if you come to people's forex videos just come for information come for good vibes come for growth this is your life and no one is coming to rescue you but yourself that is why as for me if you watch my videos i would like you to turn your phone into vertical so that you do not get distracted by comment section because there are people who just come to videos like this not because they want to get help but because they are losing and it's painful for them to see that there's someone who's doing what they are failing to do so demons inside them get provoked by our progress and they manifest themselves in our comment section so don't get distracted by those people focus on your journey and if i happen to mention a larger amount than where you actually add it's okay don't feel intimidated we all have to start somewhere in life the most important thing i always say this the most important thing is to get yourself to winning consistently if you are winning your two dollars consistently and if you are winning your two dollars you should be losing something below 50 cents if your risk to reward is on point but if you are doing that consistently listen that's all this matters because if you increase your lot size you can win more but you cannot increase your lot size and win more if you are not winning consistently it doesn't matter the amount of money you are winning yet but the amount of money should be if you win it should be way more than the amount of money you lose when you take your losses that's the most important thing that you should take into consideration if you're still on lot 0.01 .01. number two <laughs> guys please tell me this why are people so loyal to dysfunction why because i did you know i struggled with this like many beginners i know that i'm not the only one please comment it down to the comment section because i know that i cannot be the only one who did this so guys stop this thing as beginners i know i know okay i know <laughs> stop letting your losses run and closing your wins too early from a beginner's perspective okay let me share with you like the piece of my mind what was going on through my mind back then when i was making this mistake it was because i was sure about the trade you know i was sure about the trade so i didn't want to close it somewhere somehow i was convinced that it's gonna go up if i was selling no it will revert and go down it will revert i'm not closing this trade it will revert sometimes i would go as far as shifting my sl area because i was sure that i it was just a stop loss hands it will revert and i find myself losing even when no one knows what the market is going to do so be prepared for anything in the markets but if the trade was going my way and i see myself that i'm holding hundreds of dollars in profits right now and the overall profit is 150 dollars but i'm currently sitting at hundreds of dollars i'll be very scared i'll be unholded like i want to i want to press this button and close the trade because i have these what ifs in my mind like what if then it just goes back and goes against me like i i'm missing out on these hundreds dollars that i already have like it's already mine in this account you know if i can close this trade right now i have already one hundred dollars so you know this thing that makes you so we end up hindering our progress because if i do not close this trade i let it run it can go and hit my tp at 150 dollars i'll sleep comfortably as nice knowing that i have made my 150 dollars for today but i end up flipping on hundreds dollars and i'll be so heartbroken when this 
when the market reaches the area of my CP because I know that, oh, I've messed up. So we must get into the habit of stopping letting our losses run and closing our trades too early. If you want to close your trades, at least close them one or two pips before your trades take hit your TP. And if the trade is going against you, don't adjust your SL. Don't just let it just let it run. Because if you are adjusting your SL in the name of hoping that it's gonna it's gonna turn, but it's gonna turn, it's gonna I'm sure but this is gonna turn, it's gonna go my way. Then yo mm -mm. Because the fact that it's going against you already, it already means something is fishy. That thing that beginners do is revenge trading. Most of the time, people revenge trade because they are not compatible with the amount they lost. So they just want to go back to the market quickly to recover their lost funds. Hence, they find themselves revenge trading. Well, there are various reasons why people do this, but the most common one is because people want to get rich quick. So they end up using lot sizes which are way beyond their account's capacity. Getting rich quick will get people to even over leverage their account. And instead of, and instead of actually getting rich quick as they desire, they actually find themselves blowing their accounts, stagnating their growth, which hinders them from actually getting rich quick. So it's better to just do something right for once. For the reason that hinders beginners growth in forex markets is because people are actually trading without a trading plan. I have spoken so much about the trading plan, but I have realized that I have actually not yet made a video about the trading plan. So I'm going to quickly make a video showing you guys how to make your trading plan. I'm not sure which one will come first between this one and that one. But if this one comes first, I'm going to just link it here on the description box. But one thing you should know is trading without a plan is actually a good recipe for disaster. And number five is FOMO, which is the fear of missing out. This makes people to end up taking trades without even confirmation. If they did take trades at the right time, they would take it without confirmation. No, guys. Anything can happen as those lines of support and resistance. Luckily, I have already uploaded a video consisting of the candlesticks patterns that I personally use myself to take entries as this market. And they are working perfectly, perfectly for me, especially if you're going to use them as instructed on this video, I'm just going to link it here on this description because this video is already out. So go and watch this video so that you can know some of the things to look out for when you're about to take your entries at those levels. But guys, when you hit those levels, don't just jump in. Wait for confirmation. But when you flip the coin, there are people who will not take trades when they reach their support or resistance level. Even the confirmation persons appear and tell them that it's okay, now you can enter. They won't enter because they don't know what's in front of them. They don't know what's those candlesticks, what's those trust patterns. They don't even know that those are trust patterns which are telling them to take the trade now, you see. And it's okay, we all have to begin somewhere. Just go and watch this video and many other videos like this. And then you get help. You'll do better. Because when we know better, we do better, right? But we cannot do better without knowing better. So traders like this end up chasing trades because they couldn't see when it was the right moment, the right time to enter. Now the market has hit the resistance or the support and is going up. It's already made a move up or made a move down 
and you find some people just entering now in the middle of nowhere which is wrong because they are now chasing trades so the fear of missing out is a real struggle to most of the beginner traders i actually struggled with it too because i went there i knew that i was supposed to buy as as the suppose and sell as the resistance but i couldn't see the right time i didn't know the right time i didn't know the right candlesticks patterns i didn't know the right trust patterns to exercise and utilize when i reach those levels so i would find myself like should i buy now should i buy now should i sell now should i sell now and then i'd be just skeptical then when the market has made the move that is when i would be convinced that oh it's actually respected the support and it's going up now i'm just clicking a buy in the middle of norway and that was so wrong it was nice talking to you guys i've got to bounce somewhere now but comment down below which one of these things did you struggle about or you're still struggling about currently and who knows, I might actually make a video just based on your struggles. If you request for a specific video, please have patience because there are other people who are struggling with something somewhere, somehow in their trading journey and they asked first. So first come, first served. If you have requested a particular video, please have patience. Your video is still coming your way. I'm still sourcing others who have asked first. May the peace of God rule in your hearts. I'll see you on the next video.